<laughs> I know so, you know so. Okay, well, let's talk about, okay, we, we made the airstrikes. We hit them. Is there any significance to the fact that they now use, or at least give the administration a way to use the AUMF to justify the incursion in Syria? Because as of now, Congress has not voted, they have not seriously debated, other than to say we can arm the moderate rebels. Right. But other than that, there is no authority other than the Commander-in-Chief's Article 2. Yeah. Is this maybe their way to get some air cover for their airstrikes? Well, perhaps everything that they're going to do is going to be leading up to this ability to introduce ground troops at some point. I, I said the other day on a television interview, I think it's still correct, that we're not going to see anybody step up and realize, recognize, admittedly, that something more has to be done than just airstrikes until the next administration comes in. So between now and then, my guess is we'll continue to do pinpoint, somebody told me, cosmetic strikes, not that the strikes aren't important and not that the people that uh, are doing them don't deserve a lot of recognition. They absolutely do. We thank our men and women who are out there serving on the front lines. But they know as well as we do this is not the path to absolute victory. We talk about degrading ISIS or degrading the Khorasan group or degrading al, -Nu degrading al Nusra or degrading this, degrading that. Degrading is one thing, defeating is something else. We're not going to get to the defeat stage of this for a long time and certainly not under this administration. And, and they, they try to shy away from defeat, I think, and use destroy and other things because defeat is a commitment. If you commit to defeat, you're actually trying to win. That, the problem I have with the president is he's a war ender. Yes. He doesn't believe in fighting to win. You either win or Absolutely. lose a war. Absolutely. You know, you can't, you can't end it. And our, our enemies did not vote to end this war with him. And that's kind of the problem. He pulled this out, and now the vacuum is filled by ISIS. So as far as ISIS, we're, we're, you think we're just going to airstrike for the next two years, and he's going to try and avoid any responsibility? Well, you know, of course, we have this idea that we're going to uh, form, train, equip, arm, prepare, deploy uh, the moderate Syrians, maybe oh, 5,000. Yeah, 5, I think there's 5,000. To start with, uh, you know, that's not a clear path to victory by any means. 